Hey everybody, it's Bob LPs. Welcome to my playthrough of Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. This game was originally released back in 2004 on the Game Boy Advance, but was later remade in 2008 and 2007 in Japan on the PlayStation 2. Now this is the version from the 1.5 HD remix alongside Kingdom Hearts Final Mix and the cutscenes from 358 over 2 days. I'm going to be playing this on proud mode just like before on Kingdom Hearts Final Mix and I hope you guys enjoy this LP. A lot of people actually dislike this game in general because of the combat system and the way you have to progress through the game and I'll be honest it's not my favorite playstyle but I don't hate it. It adds a certain challenge to the game and they basically force you to be strategic which is something I don't mind. I actually like being strategic. It makes the game a little bit more fun in its own way. Um, like I said I'm gonna go ahead and play on the proud mode and I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy the opening cutscene. Alright, all that was basically reflections on the first game. Now let's get started with this one. You may remember this was the very final scene in Kingdom Hearts 1. And then there was just a, an abrupt cut. Everything ended. This takes place practically no time at all after the first game. Along the road ahead lies something you need. However, in order to claim it, you must lose something that is dear to you.
Hey, you think it's okay to barge in? But we gotta do it if we're gonna find the king. The king? King Mickey's here? Something just told me he'd be here, okay? Really? Cause now that you mention it, I was kinda thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. One look at this castle, and I just knew. Our very best friends, they're here. <laughs> yup, guess great minds think alike. Wait, hey, hold on. It can't be just a coincidence. Oh no, Timmy. You don't mean that. Yep, I had it too. Mm-hmm, I had the exact same feeling. Gorge, maybe it's contagious. No, no, something screwy. We gotta go take a look. All right. Where, where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go, Goofy. Hey, fellers, uh, shouldn't we shut the door behind us before we go? Sora! That's it. Who are you? Well, hi, yes. Oh, yeah? I'll try some magic. Sega! Come on. Sega! Sega! Come on. Sega! Fire! I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past. And you will meet people you miss. I miss? Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want is to find him. What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this, a card? It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Sora, to lose and claim anew, or to claim anew only to lose. Oh. Come on, let's go. All right, and with that, we've obtained a card, which has the image of Traverse Town on it. There's a few things I gotta get into. First of all, this game came out after Kingdom Hearts 2, well, the remake anyway. So with all the voice acting, uh, Haley Joel Osment kind of grew up a little bit, so yeah. Sora's voice kind of changed a lot within that one night, huh? Um, anyway, let's select this card and head inside, and I must point out one more thing, the guy in the hood, like for real, those guys, before they unmasked themselves, looked like headless people, 
the hole in the hood is so big that a head should definitely be seen, but it, there's nothing there. It's so weird. It makes no sense. Especially with the big hairdos people have in this game. It's ridiculous. Anyway, this can't be right. We're in Traverse Town. Speaking of headless, what you see isn't real. Okay, this teleporting dude's getting creepy. This town is an illusion created by your memories ingrained in that car. My memories? Alright, Jiminy pokes his head out a lot more in this game, actually. Forget about that, Sora. We lost Donald and Goofy. Yep, we don't see him anywhere. Donald? Goofy? Guys, where are you? What did you do with them? They're at the mercy of the cards now. Master the cards, and their strength will be yours again. Well, that's a little reassuring. Alright, battle time. Now, automatically you may notice that the entire world is different. I'll explain it in a little bit. But anyway, the laws of the castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you value your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. Alright, so basically the controls are very similar to the last game. Uh, the right control stick to move the camera, let the analog stick to actually move yourself. And we just picked up a Donald card. It has a value of zero. We'll get into the values later, but for now we gotta just use the card. And I'll be trying to explain this way better and way faster than what they're explaining it as. But the tutorial for this is a little bit long. Alright, the cards you use vanish, but they reappear to aid you time and again. So basically, the cards will appear randomly throughout the battle and pick them up to use your friend's cards. Now, your regular controls, you can still use circle to jump, and earlier you said we've lost all the abilities we've ever known. Not dodge roll! It's like the only ability we actually kept. All right, so now we actually gotta attack him, and he's just gonna guard all this. He doesn't have any actual HP. He's just a tutorial boss, basically. All right, now, to lock on, it's now R2 instead of R1. And that threw me off a little bit, but you'll see what R1 is used for in a, in a little bit. Alright, uh, once we use all of our cards, we might be in trouble. But he's gonna explain to us how we actually do it. Uh, all the other options are pretty much disabled to you. You can't do anything in this tutorial boss that he hasn't explained yet. And now that we got no more cards, they have this little stock gauge on the side. All we gotta do is hold the X button and it'll charge up. Pressing it will bring it up a little bit and holding it will make it keep going all the way. So yeah, whenever you run out of cards, just do that. And there will be times when certain cards, cards won't even load. But I'll get into all that whenever I actually do my own fights. And right here... You just saw R1 is used for shuffling through the cards. So L1 goes one way, R1 goes the other. Alright, here he's saying that we've got attack cards, magic cards, item cards. Uh, you'll see actual item and spell cards whenever we get to that point. Uh, this is not the deck of cards that we've actually got. This is strictly for the tutorial. We have a completely different set of cards to call our own. Are you two all right? Where have you been? You tell us. When you opened the door, we saw a strange light. And the rest is just blank. Gee, that doesn't help. I'm trying to remember what happened. I have to keep my journal up to date. Hey, Donald, where are we? Get the new clothes. Ah, me too, Goofy. Somebody's been messing with our clothes. So yeah, earlier they had those casual clothes, but now they're back in their knight and wizard outfits, I guess. Whatever you want to say. Could it be for the cards for you? No, it's for you to ponder. Blah, 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 blah. Great! Riddles! Awesome! Master the cards and you make your way through the castle, but from here you walk alone. Alone? We can't let Sora go alone. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Donald. Seriously, Donald thinks he's so special. You sure you'll be okay? Of course. 
Yeah, Donald was actually very useful at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. So, we'll get into how useful Donald is this time around as soon as we get into an actual battle. Huh, this hero speaks boldly. Go then, the rest of the castle of Bolivian awaits. Walk the avenues of light and memory and you shall meet someone dear to you. I've got a bad feeling about this. Relax, Jiminy, I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? Actually, it's not that hard at all, honestly. All I have to do is use one in front of that door over there. All right, key of beginnings. This is one of three main cards that you're gonna need to progress through certain doors in the game. Now, the doors, we'll get into in just about a minute. Okay, and here we are. Traverse Town, we got the same old logo that showed up before in Kingdom Hearts 1. But, this, the same old thing that's not exactly the same old thing is the actual layout. All the scenery is the same, they've got these light posts, they got staircases, they got that, well they had that door in the back of the cutscene, but basically everything is completely rearranged. Now, what I just picked up is Moogle points. I'll explain those whenever we get to a Moogle shop. Um, but to get to the Moogle shop, it's a little bit different than the last game. Anyway, let's break this barrel. We actually get a Blizzard card. And with that, I'll actually get into explaining how to edit your deck. You have to edit your deck throughout the entire game, or you're just going to lose not too far in. Uh, marked objects can be lifted and thrown, and you gotta approach it and lift it. Yeah. Uh, certain things like this actually can't be destroyed, like in the last game. You actually gotta pick it up. But over here, I'm gonna go ahead and smash this. That gave me some HP balls. Yeah. And I kid you not, when I say you want to try to hit everything in sight, because Moogle points are a huge plus yeah. in this game, and it's basically your surefire way of getting new cards. Now, let me go ahead and edit my deck. Oh, I can't even edit my deck yet because that option's disabled right now. All right, touching a Heartless on the field starts a battle, but you can strike the Heartless first and gain the upper hand. So, this is a little bit different than the old game. Yeah. Let's hit him with this. Now he's stunned. Also, let's hit him first with our Keyblade. Yeah. All right, doing that did a little more damage. But this is the way things work now. They're not just out and about chasing you. You actually have to engage into a, a battle and you're put into a small arena like this. And you can see that the enemies are using cards too. All right, whenever he uses one, I'll show you again. Okay, so I just got a card break. Now, there's something I want to show off. Here's this zero card. Everything that you use has a value. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and use Goofy and see if this will work. Well, see, they just played a one card and my Goofy was on one card, so that basically made the card useless and stopped me. Whoever plays the more powerful card wins the little card play, and then you just keep fighting. Um, there's some complications to this later that I'll get into, but there's gonna be a whole nother tutorial battle just for stuff like that that I was just talking about. Anyway, we just just for beating that fight, we ended up gaining a card. And now we're going to use this card to open up the next door. To progress through the game, you're going to have to use certain cards to unlock certain doors. And sometimes it's just a value like this. Now, even though we did just get a value of two, they want us to use this card, which is a value of one. Uh, the door says we have to have a one or higher. So, in any other sense, we would be able to use the other card, but just for this, we have to use this. And basically, zero cards will let you open any door, but you don't want to waste all your zeros because there are some doors where you have to play a specific value, and sometimes it's zero. So, as we progress through the game, I'll try to give you my little tips and tricks and try to tell you guys the way I play the game and I've beaten the game several times so my way definitely works whether it's your favorite or not whether you want to listen to me or not that's up to you but I have played this game beaten it several times I just beat the entire game uh, actually a few days ago before recording this so I'm pretty rehearsed I know what I'm doing 
and this shouldn't be too bad. And again, I want to go ahead and hit all these barrels everywhere. Alright, so I just got some HP balls out of all that. Didn't get too many movement points at all so far. But anyway, now I can hit the start button and go to the main menu. Um, you can see that we've got up to three friend stocks, but uh, two of them are only being filled up right now. It's Donald and Goofy. As we go to other worlds, just like in the last game, there's going to be other friends that we could possibly meet up with, and they'll show up in that third slot. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and review and edit my deck. That first barrel that we dis... I'm about to say disappeared. First battle that we destroyed actually had a power level 5 blizzard card. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. Um, it's the first spell we actually get. And we're going to learn way more as we pro uh, progress through the game. But for now, that's all we got. So I just went ahead and threw it in there. Over there in the top right corner, you can see CP. That's the amount of card points you have. You're limited to how many cards you can have in your deck. Uh, 99 cards max and then a point total that you'll be able to level up as you go through the game Right now after putting in the blizzard card. I just got to 242 out of 275 So I can put a couple more cards in there if I had it you can see that this is a value of 16 So if I had another seven kingdom key card, I could put that in there and not go over the limit uh, We'll be collecting a lot of cards throughout the game and that's another reason I recommend you hit everything that you see because oh Right there, I completely forgot about that. Um, Moogle points, HP, and cards can just appear out of anything, so definitely try to destroy everything. Now, I'm going to go ahead and save, but just like in the last uh, LP, I don't want to show any spoilers as to what might be in the game. So, I'm not going to show any save files, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Alright, after saving... Let's make a little more progress. Alright, and this is why they didn't want to see the level 2 card. Now we have to play a card that's 2 or up. So we're going to go ahead and play Tranquil Darkness. And this is just standard room. Some Heartless will appear, and that's about it. Now, I do want to show you a couple more things. Let me go ahead and find another fight. I'll take this and throw it at him. Smack him. And we have a little damage done to everybody. Now, like I said before, we're in a little bit of a box. Like, it's a battle arena, if you will. Um, using certain cards will eventually be worthless. So, like right now, you saw that they're playing ones and threes. So, these two cards are probably going to be broken. Now, something I like to do is stock cards by pressing triangle. And it'll add up up to three cards. So, now check this out. Yeah, I'll do two attacks and then a blizzard. Now that's just because of the specific cards that I actually happen to have. Uh, now, there's a lot of things you can do with this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and reload just so I can show it. Uh, for example, if we stock two Goofies in a row, we'll get Goofy Tornado level 2. That's just one of the things that were already unlocked to us automatically. If we have a Goofy and then uh, one weapon attack, We'll do a Goofy Smash, which I'll show you in a minute, but I really want to show... Actually, no, I'll show this one first. So, I'm going to go Goofy. ahead and do this. Goofy will smack everything in the air, and then you can possibly press Triangle to smack everything back down, but he didn't do it that time, I guess, because he was targeting the Shadow. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, wait, I got to go Goofy, Donald, and Goofy, and you have to put things in certain order sometimes. It picked up that I put Goofy next to a Kingdom Key attack. So, it wanted me to do a Goofy Smash. While Crush, you have to have a Goofy, then Donald, then a, a weapon Come attack. Gotcha. Now we basically pile drive with Goofy, but it's a little hard to control. But at the same time, it's very powerful, so you might want to try that sometime. Alright, we just obtained another card. I'm going to go ahead and show what that does at another time. But here we go. I wanted to level up at least once in this video before I ended it so I could explain this. Uh, every time you level up, you can have one of three bonuses. HP boost, CP boost, or slight. Now, honestly, you don't need to boost your HP once in this entire game. Because it's a card-based system, you can cancel your opponent's attacks a majority of the time if you have the right cards. So I like using CP boost throughout the entire game so I can have the most cards and the best cards that I could possibly use. Also, a lot of people say that slights are worthless. 
uh, certain ones I don't find are really worthless. And I'll explain what a slide is right now. So I just learned sliding dash. And they'll explain how you actually use these abilities whenever you learn. Slide dash, slide toward distant targets for a close range attack. It's very similar to the old game, except now you have to do it a certain way. Uh, three attack cards of the same type, total value between 10 and 15. So, it's kind of spoiling that there are other Keyblades in the game, but hey, you play Kingdom Hearts 1, right? So, you should know this by now. Um, so you have to have a total between 10 and 15, but they have to be three of the same kind of card. You don't equip Keyblades in this game, you have different Keyblade cards. And once again, once we get more cards, I'll be able to explain that in better detail and show the pros and cons of having different kinds of cards. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to destroy these guys real quick. Um, also, something I need to explain. Dang it! Um, once you use attacks like this... Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. You know what? That's a combo I really am gonna end up doing a lot. Uh, something that involves me healing and then using a potion that'll actually reload all my cards. You saw that I had to reload my entire deck, but I really didn't have to do that because I had a potion. That's what potions are very useful for. They don't heal your HP, only cure does. So let me go ahead and do this again. And actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Goofy smash. And that's the combo that you can do with Goofy. Goofy is amazing in this game. Uh, Donald? Okay, Goofy is in general good. Donald is a high risk, high reward kind of deal. Sometimes he'll be very, very helpful, and sometimes he'll be very, very worthless. When he's helpful, it's amazing he's even better than Goofy, but when he's worthless, enough said, he's worthless. Um, like you saw that he tried healing me, I think. Um, sometimes he'll heal you and not even attack, and you're at full HP. Well, what good was that? And sometimes he'll use fire attacks on fire enemies, electric attacks on electric enemies. It's not the best time to use Donald against those kind of enemies, but sometimes you don't have a choice and you gotta try and hope for the best. Now, like I said, you don't need HP at all, and right now we can't even learn a new slide because I already learned one. So I'm gonna go ahead and boost my CP. So my CP just went up by 25, and that's the boost that you're gonna get every single time. CP will always go up by 25, HP will always go up by 15. And that's just how things work in general. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and examine this door. To open this door, we're gonna need a card with a power of at least one, and then the special key that we have, and this one is the key to beginnings. But this video is actually starting to drag out, and what's coming up next, I don't wanna show quite yet. I'll save that for the next episode. So until then, I'm going to go over here and save, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching, goodbye.